In this session, we are going to look at how we can control the display of a vehicle tracking path. As you can see, the drawing I'm currently in is called 04 Path Display. And I already have a vehicle path defined in this file. This path represents a WB40 semi-trailer navigating its way around behind this retail center. If we look at the path, we can see that the geometry and symbology are represented using several different colors. Fortunately, we can customize the display properties of these items to be just about anything we want. Let's take a look. I'm going to start by visiting the Vehicle Tracking tab, and then I'll click the Report Wizard icon. Now, this may not be the best name for this feature. I'm thinking Display Properties Wizard might be a better name because that's really what it's doing. It's controlling the display of the vehicle tracking paths. When the wizard comes up, we can see the current report or display properties. This report represents the display defaults for this drawing. Now, there are a lot of settings to look at. We're only going to look at a couple of them to start with. I'm going to click Next. This page of the wizard controls the appearance of body outlines. As we've seen before, the body outline is enveloped and its color in a forward direction is green. Note that we can also control its color in reverse as well. I'm going to click Next. This page controls the appearance of the chassis outlines. By default, the chassis is enveloped using red. If I click this button, I can go through and adjust these settings. For right now, I'm going to click Cancel, and I'll click Finish. And when I do, I'm given the opportunity to make any changes I made the new defaults for the application. Now, this isn't a bad idea. In fact, I would recommend that you go through these settings and dial everything up the way you like. Then save those settings as the defaults, and you shouldn't have to worry about them again. For right now, I'm just going to click No. So the report we just looked at represents the default display properties. Now, when you create a path, like I did here, those display properties are copied to the path. This means if I select the path and visit the report wizard, I can make changes here and those changes will be applied to this path only. As an example, I'll click Next and I'd like to change the body outlines. We'll change the color of these to be white. I'll click OK. Let me click Next. We'll adjust the color of the chassis envelope as well. Currently it's red. I'd like this to be yellow. I apologize that my menu is creeping off the screen. Let's change the line type as well. I'll make this dashed and I'll click OK. As long as we're here, we'll flip through some of the other possible settings. Here I can control the display of visibility sight lines. Currently we can see those are turned off. This page controls symbology. This one, annotation. The annotation properties control the appearance of the text on the vehicle. We can also display a profile of the vehicle. Currently that's turned off. We'll look at that setting in a little bit. We can also display a steering and articulation graph. We'll look at this setting as well in a little bit. Finally, we have construction lines. These properties control the appearance of all of the accoutrements along the path, the path number, the overturn lines, the color of the steering pointer, as well as a few others. So for right now, I've just changed the properties of my envelopes. I'm going to click Finish and I'm not going to make these the new defaults. And we can see the changes on screen. So if you select the path first, any display changes you make will apply to that path only. Let's pan this over and I'll create a new path. I'm going to use the default vehicle in this file. And we can see that this path uses the display properties associated with this drawing. Let's take the concept even further. Notice that nothing is selected now. I'm going to go back and click the Report Wizard icon. If I open this menu, we can see that there are several reports or display properties defined in this drawing. Now, why would you want more than one? Well, remember that a report represents a large number of display settings. By having several reports, you can quickly change the appearance of a path by simply selecting a new report. The reports we see here are associated with the drawing. Let me close this. When you create a path, like one of these, each of those reports is also copied to the path. So if I wanted to quickly change the appearance of this path, I could select it, click the report wizard, I'll open the menu and select a new report. I'm going to choose this one, Report 3, Hatched Body Envelope. We can see that that report is currently hidden, and I'd like to make that report visible. You can actually have more than one report visible at a time. 
In this case, I would like this report to be the only one visible, so I'll click the Exclusively button that will hide all of the others, and I'll click Finish. And in just a couple clicks, we have a completely different looking path. Let's switch things back. I'll select the path, go back to the wizard. I'll select Report 1. We'll make that exclusively visible. And I'll click Finish and then no. So by having multiple reports, you can quickly change the display properties of a path. Finally, I don't need this path anymore, so I'm going to select it and I'll press delete to remove it from the drawing. And then I'll center the other path on screen. At this point, you may be wondering why I'm going so deep into the display properties. Well, let me show you where knowing this information is helpful. You see, there are additional display items associated with vehicle paths. For instance, if I select a path, I can come up and click the Profile button to add a vehicle profile to the drawing. Let's zoom in and take a look. Once the profile is inserted, I can select it and use this grip to move it wherever I like. The next question you may have is, how can you turn the profile off? Well, we do that through the report. If I select the path and go back to the Report Wizard, I'll click Next to jump through the properties of the current report until I get to the Profiles page, and then I can remove this check to hide the profile. I'll click Finish and No. In addition to a profile, we can also display a steering and articulation graph. Let me select the path again, and I'll come up and click the Insert Graph button. We'll pan this over and I'll place the graph in this opening. When you place the graph in the file, the graph is associated with the path. It can also be resized using these grips. If I zoom in, we can see a pair of lines. The green line represents the steering angle along the path. The red line represents the articulation angle of the vehicle. This graph is also associated with the report, so each of these colors and annotations is configurable. Let's zoom out. In the event I wanted to turn the graph off, I'll select the path, go back to the wizard, and then I can step through the settings until I get to the graph page. And I can hide its display using the check right here. You may be wondering if there's a quicker way to do this. Actually, there is. Let me click Cancel. I'll go back to the Report Wizard. A really quick way to access the Profile and Graph toggles is to go to the Advanced button, and you can see that the current report is expanded. We can use these toggles right here to quickly change the display of those items. I'm going to leave the graph on, and I'll click OK. Let's look at one more display property associated with paths. As you can see in its current display, we can see the vehicle at the endpoints of the path. In the event I was creating an exhibit, it might be nice to show the vehicle at several points along the path. To do that, I can select the path and come up and click the Place Outline button. I can then drag a representation of the vehicle around and then click to place the outline in the drawing. Let's pan this up and I'll place another one around this corner. Note that the appearance of the outline can be controlled using the settings over here. Currently my outline is displaying the body and the annotation. For this outline, maybe I'll remove the annotation and I'll add the chassis. Let's place one more right here, and when I'm finished I'll right click. As a side note, when you place outlines, if you are displaying a graph, you will see that each outline contains a letter, and that letter will correspond to a position in the graph. At this point I'd like to remove the graph. I'll do that by selecting either the graph or the path. I'll come up to the wizard. I'll use the advanced shortcut to turn the graph off and I'll click OK and finish. I'll press escape. Finally I'd like to create a printed representation of this path but I'd like to turn off one of these outlines. I'll do that by selecting the path. I'll click the Outline button, and we remove outlines the same way we add them. We just place the vehicle over the outline we want to remove and click. When I'm finished, I'll right-click, press Escape, and then I'll center this path on screen. Finally, I'd like to print this path to PDF. If I print it as it is, I will only see the path and the vehicle. At either end, I will also see my outlines. I will not see the construction lines. If you want your printed exhibit to include the construction lines, the numbers, the overturn lines, the steering arrows, select the path and in the report wizard, make sure and select this option, plot construction lines. 
I'm going to zoom out. I'll launch the plot command. I'd like to plot this to PDF. I'm going to plot a window. We'll center that. We'll plot this using the monochrome pens. And I'll click OK. And we can see an example of the finished exhibit on screen.